Gemini, what's going on, Gemini? It's your girl D with Eighth House Energy. I'm here to bring you your weekly read. This is gonna be the read dated February 9th through the 15th, but you know time is an illusion. So the date is just the inventory portion of the video. But um, you guys, let's see what we got going on. Your ruling planet is it the three Mercury retrogrades? Uh, met I can't even talk. That's my Mercury in Gemini. Mercury's in retrograde, so starting over my words. All right. Yeah, so the actual retrograde starts next week, and it goes to the first week of March. But then we have the two weeks of post-shadow period. So uh, we won't be clear of this energy until, like, the last week of March. So, you know, with the Mercury retrograde, you don't want to make any big-ticket item purchases like houses or you know, anything um, major until after the retrograde. It's not that, you know, you have an issue comprehending anything. It's just that because of the planetary uh, alignments, it can cause people to skip over things, you know, and or not, you know, get the clarity that they need for whatever reason. Um, also, technology can be all uh, glitchy, so be careful. You know, those of you who like to send sexting and texting emails, make sure it's going to the right person. I'm not judging. Just make sure it goes to the right person. You know, glitches uh, happen when you send texts. Make sure you're texting information that you want to the person you want to get it. Right? Don't half start texting and then go do something else and leave it. You know, glitches happen. Don't do it. It might send it. And, you know, some of you may be uh, reminiscing about loves from the past, friends from the past. People in places who are dear, near and dear to you from the past. Also, people in places that, um, you know, cause a lot of, of pain and heartache. All right. So the universe is, this is a time for us to reflect now. So don't be alarmed if you're, you know, reminiscing about old situations, things that happened in the past. Whatever bubbles up to the surface or grabs at you the most intensely is the things that your universe is saying that you need to clear this out of your energy um, by giving it closure or reaching out to the person to make amends um, before the retrograde season is out, before you can move on. So, let's see what we got for you guys. Okay, we have the Five of Cups in Reverse. So, with the Five of Cups in Reverse, this energy, this is Scorpio energy. Uh, this is about moving on, forgiveness, wanting to return home. Um, some people are, are maybe recovering, okay, or it could be a combination of all these things. All right, we have the cups here. So some people could be um, recovering right now. Maybe they, you know, had a drinking problem, could have been other drugs as well, but they are um, recovering and they're thinking about coming home. That could be for some of you. Um, for some of you, you just may have a new outlook on something or you're forgiving something that may have happened in the past that hurt you. You know, you're forgiving the person for it. Meaning, you know, this was something that you were upset with someone about. Okay, this is just moving on, letting things go. All right. Now, the energies that are challenging you letting things go. We have the Six of Pentacles Reverse. Oops. Six of Pentacles Reverse. So the challenge is, is you're not able to... You don't... Maybe you don't have the funding, the financing... Maybe you don't have the support, the financial support. You're not able to um, take care of things financially. Some people are, are selfish. Maybe, you know, you're being selfish. Maybe the other person is being selfish. Um, you're able to move on, but you want to move on. But, you know, maybe you're, you're feeling selfish about something. Hmm. Yeah, for some of you, you just, you want to move on, you want to, but you're struggling. You could be struggling financially. That's what I'm getting. Now, as far as what your inner self is telling you or your, you know, the universe or your guardian angels or spirit guides, if you haven't heard it, this is what they're saying. They want you to keep in mind. This is King of Cups energy. This is Scorpio energy. All right. Another cup in reverse. So keep in mind here. Um... The King of Cups energy could be somebody who is um, emotionally, um, this could be someone who's emotionally abusive, 
emotionally manipulative, uh, somebody who um, could be verbally or physically abusive. Um, this is somebody who has a drinking problem, okay? Uh, somebody who is just maybe doesn't have any more love to give. You know, the cup, their cup is empty. It's in reverse. No more emotions. All right, some people go, you know, they get cold, they go cold. All right, but um, it's a major transformation that this person goes through with that. Now, let's see where your head is at here. We have the strength card in reverse. Some of you are having a hard time, really hard time, getting yourself, getting yourself together. Some of you, um, hmm. Wow, this is a really deep read here, um, Jim and I. You guys are going through it. A lot of you are going through recovery right now. And I'm just feeling it, sitting here, just absorbing your. It is. It's a lot of. It's a lot. I see why this person is bent over, in this um, picture here. It's a lot on you. I can feel it. I feel it in my chest. And with the strength card, is is very difficult. You're afraid that you know you may relapse for some of you or you may not be able to get clean is what I'm getting for some of you for some of you you were in an emotionally abusive uh, relationship a physically abusive relationship with someone and you can't get out of it because you you don't have money you can't move away from this person because you don't have money. This person is physically, verbally abusive. They drink a lot. Now I'll come here. The lovers. Hmm, I'm getting this distinct feeling that some of you are, are, are doing this because you, maybe because you're in love with someone you can't be with. So some of you are drinking yourself, you're drinking, family members may be concerned about you because you're in love with someone. It's difficult for you to deal with. We got the Page of Cups energy here. Yeah, this is someone wanting to send a message to someone unless somebody's pregnant. Other than that, somebody wants to reach out. Somebody wants to communicate with someone and let them know how they feel. Let's take a look at this Five of Cups in Reverse. Let's see why this is here. Why is the Five of Cups in Reverse here for Gemini? What is, what's going on as to why is Gemini moving on or moving forward? Or uh, is this uh, in hopes of recovery? What is this energy for Gemini? Uh, some of you are not letting people know what's going on with you. Being very closed mouth about things. You're not talking to people. All right, so some of you, yeah, you're ready to move on and you're ready to, um, you know, reach out to this person and contact them. Like you're ready right now. Okay. For others of you, I have the uh, Ten of Cups reversed and the Fool card. So for some of you, you know, the relationship that you were in, you know, it ended. Some of you may have had children with the person. But your person is no longer there, um, and you're ready for a brand new beginning. For others of you, I have the Strength card and the Knight of Cups reversed. So some of you, you know, you're trying to um, maintain your feelings. You're just taking it day by day. You're not in a relationship with anybody right now. You just need some time. That's what I'm getting for some of you. So that's what the moving on is all about. Now the challenge is, is that uh, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Um, Six of Pentacles in reverse could represent not having enough money, not being able to, um, you know, maybe not able to give charity. Um, yeah, you're not able to give to others. You may have just enough to take care of you, 
but you can't help nobody else out. You know, or, you know, maybe um, there's a situation where you're struggling yourself. Okay, maybe some of you are struggling trying to get yourself together. We have the Eight of Cups Reverse and the World card. Some of you, um, with the Six of Pentacles in Reverse here, yeah, you're definitely struggling to end something with someone. Or you're struggling because you walked away. But for some, some of you, you, you walked away from someone. And you ended things and you can't get over that. That's that's what's wrong with some of you. This is someone that you really loved. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Tower card. Yes, yeah, some of you with the Knight of Wands in reverse, um, you know, this was just... Um, hmm. Some of you were very selfish. Some of you were dealing with someone who just wanted to come to see if they could get some money from you. Hmm. Yeah, some of you, it was difficult for you to let go because the sex was good with this person, this one person. So, yeah, you, you're stuck on them. Could be obsession here. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands and the Sun in reverse. Yeah, some of you... Um, you're not able to move on because you're stuck on someone. For sure. And um, you want to reach out to this person. This is why we have this Page of Cups energy. Now, the universe wants you to keep in mind King of Cups in reverse energy. So, um, is this... This is you in the past, how you treated this person? Yeah, because we have the Five of Cups here. And the Three of Cups reverse. So, for some of you... You left this person. You talked about this person. Some of you... Um, Manip yeah, some of you gossiped and talked really bad about this person to your friends and your family. And, and you regret it now. You regret what you did and how you did it. Others of you, we have the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Some of you are just tired of hiding the truth about how you feel. Like you, you just gotta, you gotta let this person know. It's too much of a burden for you. And if others of you, we have the Nine of Cups in, in Judgment. Some of you made um, a decision where you thought um, you would be happier elsewhere. But some of you realize now that this is, you know, this is the person that you want to be with. And that's what's bothering you because of the way you treated this person. Now, where your head is at is the uh, Strength card in Reverse. Some of you are afraid to speak your mind. We have the... Uh, Seven of Cups reverse and a Justice reverse. Yeah, some of you are feeling disgraced for the way you treated this person. Like you really feel bad. And you realize the shit that all the shit that you did to this person, all the things you might have said to this person, all the things you might have said about this person. Like you're feeling disgraced. Because you, you know, you realize that this person, for you, some of you, this person is the one for you. Wish fulfillment, and then we have your energy here at the end, the lovers. For others of you, we have the Four of Wands reverse and the Page of Cups. Some of you, um, you have you yeah, you're not a mentally stable, emotionally stable. Like you, you um, you want to be with this person. You you want to reach out to this person. You definitely want to communicate with them. Some of you used to live with this person. For others of you, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you, you know, you're trying to be patient. You're just sitting back waiting. Maybe you're trying to get your finances in order. All right, so you don't feel comfortable moving forward yet without your finances in order. You don't even feel like, you know, it would be right for you to approach this person unless you, you have your finances, excuse me, your finances in order. You wouldn't feel right. So you're working, trying to get your money together. Now the lover's card is here at the end here. So we have that clarified with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, see your idea of this situation is, you know, once, you with, once you're with this person, you know things are going to change for you. You know this person is going to make you happy. You know this is the person you want to be with. And you know that you, you know, you're willing to do, you, you know you need to bring something to the table financial wise. You can't come to this person without a couple dollars in the pocket is what I'm getting here. You want to be able to come to this person where 
you know, you screwed up so bad that you want to come back to this person on a level where, look, all right, and I have some, I, you know, I have, let's get us a house or let's get a place or, you know, something. Hermit reversed, star reversed. So some of you, you're really depressed about the situation. And with the hermit reverse, it's like this has been on your mind constantly. This person is really on your mind. We have the lovers reverse, chariot reverse. For some of you, um, you can't go on with the person that you're with. You know, we have the lovers in reverse. Yeah, you keep going back and forth. For some of you, you're already with someone, but you, you want to leave this person. Like, you don't want to move forward with this person. And you're just trying to figure out how to do it. That's what I'm getting for some of you. So if this is not you um, feeling this way about someone, Gemini, someone is feeling this way about you. This is intense. Yeah, this person is, is yeah, they, um, they could be going through some things as well, coupled with the way that they feel about you. And maybe because they're in recovery, they're clearing up their energy. You know, this is Mercury retrograde on top of that. And so they're processing information processing things, you know, looking at why they're in the situation they in and maybe they're feeling remorse. Maybe someone is drinking or doing drugs because they feel remorse or guilt for the way that they treated someone or the way they did someone. And they're regretting it deeply and they're really in love with this person and they want to reach back out to them. Gemini, you guys have been going through this. Some of you have been going this through this since the summer since the summer. So when I say this hermit energy in reverse and the star in reverse where you've been in and out of your head about this for a while. Like this is like the 10 of wands times 20 for some of you. Like you really, um, this is really taking a toll on some of you health wise. You should just reach out. Worst case scenario is you'll be right in a state of mind. No, you won't. Worst case scenario is you will know. Like right now you can't move forward and that's why you're, you're um, going through what you're going through. That's why you're having the issues emotionally. Because you can't move forward. You don't know. You're stuck. You have to come out of that stuckness. The only way for you to come out of that is to find this person. Approach this person. Say something to them. Even if they, you know, curse you out and say, you know what? I don't want to see you. Da, 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 da. At least you reached out. That's further than you are right now. So at least you will be able to be, you know, to add closure to the situation for yourself so that you can move on. You're tormented here. You're not able to move on because you need to reveal, you need to reveal the truth. All right. You have the world card here. This is karma. This is a lesson. You learned this lesson. Okay. And now you're suffering because you don't want to speak up because of your ego. You're being proud here. So you're going to be in torment until you speak up with the Ten of Swords in reverse. You're going to be tormenting yourself. Let this person know how you feel. Let them know that you love them with the Queen of Cups and that you want to connect with them. You know, if they cut you off with the Queen of Swords in reverse, like I said, if they cut you off, they cut you off. Then, okay, at least you know where you stand. All right, but you need to make a decision with the judgment card here in reverse. It's okay. You know, yeah, you left this person out in the cold. You know, and there was a lot of game playing and tit for tat. And you were, you know, really immature. But you realize that you went through a transformation and realized that this is not the way you want to do things. You, you're willing to open up to this person and you want to start something new. But, you know, you keep stagnating and stalling. With the seven of cups in reverse here. And it's like you need to get yourself balanced. You're not going to be able to move forward until you get yourself balanced. All right. Because you know this is the one for you though. For sure. So your finances are a situation. Or are, are the problem right here. But that's the only thing that's holding you back. That's the only thing. All right. So Gemini. Let's see what other um, advice. Let's see what advice we can get. You. Oh. Sorry about that. It's late, too, when I'm making all this noise. All right, let's see what we got for you, Gemini. Gemini, we got soulmate. So your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So see, some of you, this person still loves you. 
Even though you did them, you know, crappy, they still love you. It says it right here. Now, this is, a, uh, for some of you, this is an intense connection then. Okay? So this person is probably feeling you right now. Are you feeling them? So I would recommend, again, reaching out. you got to come out of this state. You know, you can't. You can't get well, you know, with the star card in reverse. You're not going to get well just dwelling on this over and over again. Like you're in your head with the hermit in reverse and the star in reverse. You keep going around and around and around in circles. Ooh, you'll make me pass out. You got to speak up. What did I just say? This is why this is so intense. This is someone from your past. So trust me, this person knows you're thinking about them. They know. They feel you. It's Mercury retrograde. I just explained it to you. They're feeling you. One more for this one. Didn't I say somebody was obsessed? Hmm. Someone is gripped with obsessive thoughts. Someone that you are obsessing over this person. Jim. You gotta speak up. You gotta speak up for your own... Because this is not even healthy. Not healthy at all. Like I said, I could feel this in my chest. Alright, let's see what else we got for you. What other advice we have? We have fork in the road. Okay, that's fork in the road. Hello. Make a decision, babe. We have number 13. That's the death card. Transform. So you gotta you gotta take this step. Number 13, major arcana, death card. So let's see what fork in the road is about. And um, I do want to shout out Kanisha. Kanisha, thank you so much. I got the cards. I don't know if you're watching this video, but I'm shouting you out on all my videos this week just to make sure I catch you. I sent you an email to thank you, but it came back to me that it was undeliverable, even though I had the correct spelling. So I had to take it, you know, to this level here. So I love you. Appreciate your support. And all you Geminis, I love you too as well. All right. But let's see what Fork in the Road is all about. Number 13. All right. So in reference to a love reading, a love situation, it says you've reached the moment of truth in the evolution of your relationship. Which will you choose to, to open up to the possibility of love or to remain isolated, to go deeper and commit to a mutual passion or to walk away? This is a time to take responsibility for your truest desire and follow it. Be honest with yourself about what you're willing to do, invest, and give. Then choose. You cannot make a wrong choice. If you move forward with the relationship, know that it will be based in truth and authenticity. When you have made a, con a conscious decision, rather than simply hanging on because you don't want to be alone or ending things because you're afraid of the intensity of the connection. All roads lead to the lessons you learn in your relationships. Regardless of the decisions you make, it will place you on a path to truer experience of the heart. To a truer experience of the heart, excuse me. So this is just telling you, you make a decision. You got to make a decision. You can't go on like this. This is you're going to make a decision because I don't see how you can go on like this. You've been going on like this for some of you all damn summer. You got to be damn near half dead by now. Nah, I want to say that, but you got to be going crazy. I'm keeping it 100 with you, Jem. Not all of you, okay? This is not all of you. But some of you have got to be loose. And I'm picking up this energy strongly here. Like I said, I can feel it in my chest. Some of you got to be going bonkers here. I can see why you have to medicate yourself. And why you may be in rehab trying to clear your shit up. I understand. But you got to speak up. Maybe you're just waiting to get well. I don't know. But you need to do something about this. This is not healthy for you. All right, I'm done. Next card, Hostilities. This is um, an interesting card here. Let's see what that has to talk about. Oh, Hostilities. Okay. So the card shows a man raising his sword 
in readiness to do battle. When it comes upright, it reveals a situation where hostilities towards you are about to be or have already been engaged. The aggressive energy may be verbal or emotional, with someone in your environment being excessively critical, demanding, or hurtful. In a work or social uh, situation, there may be backstabbing or out of or out and out slander going on. This is different from the deceit card because the hostile energies are more apparent, more overt. In fact, you may have been living with them for some time. But whether this is new or old energy, now is the time to regain control, allowing dishonoring treatment from others. And it is an open invitation to the universe to send you more. It may feel risky, but you need to have the courage to stand up for yourself now and always. Now, some of you, like I said, you're in a verbal, uh, emotionally or physically abusive relationship. And it could have to do with your person knowing how you feel about this person you're obsessing over. This past life love that you want to be with. Your person could know about this. You may have said this to this person out of spite. We have the Five of Cups and Five of Swords energy here. We also have the Knight of Swords. A lot of arguing that you want to leave with the Page of Wands. So you may have said, yeah, well, I'm going to go be with blah, blah, blah. You know, and um, your person, you know, might have heard that one too many times from you. That could be. Take that energy how it resonates. That is what I was feeling. This is a lot right now, um, Gemini. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, um, in this reading, please let me know if it resonated with you by clicking the like button. If you would like to leave a comment and share, please do. Um, I love you guys and I will see you next week. Peace out, Jim.